Last week on Shipwrecked. 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 The boys... Well, there, there wasn't any shipwreck last week. <clears throat> okay. The week before last on Shipwrecked. Shipwrecked. It was about... Uh, Christ. The 18th of August. What's that, about three weeks ago? Three weeks ago on Shipwrecked. Shipwrecked. Hang, Ship hang on. Oh, for Christ's sake. It was, about, it was a bit over that, but carry on. Ah, to hell with it. Just listen to John Wilson singing You Say It Best by Ronan Keating. It's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. What the fuck is this then? I know I made a big fuss about singing a Ronan Keating song, but I sang it. And I think I should be the only one on the island to sing it. I know, mate. Good point. But Petra's computer blew up and I'm waiting on some audio so I can do the next episode. If I don't play this, if I don't play John singing, we've got, we've got nothing. Plus, your voice skipped in that last bit. Well, can't he sing something else? Yeah, well, he, he sings Dreamweaver in the next episode, but we threw this one in as an extra, just so I can play it in the background now, you know, to, to get us through. Sounds amateurish. It's a bit harsh. I can't say that. Yeah. Amateurish. Tell me what you sit on. My elbow. <laughs> What's that? Anyway, what have you been up to, mate? I, uh, I've been on holiday. I uh, went to see, uh, what do you call him? Daniel D. Lewis. That's him. That's a, I'll tell you, that's an odd middle name he's got. I suppose it's better than Anus. That's not even a Neon Brown. Well, neither's Day. In fact, I think Anus probably sounds better. Suppose it does have a certain ring to it. Do you actually know this bloke, or were you just hanging around, something stalking? Nah, 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 God bless you, nah. I was just in the area, and I thought I'd pop in, see if he'd do an episode of Shipwreck with us. Oh, good, what'd he say? He wasn't home. His neighbour said he was overseas or something, so I just left a message for him to call me. What? What do you mean, what? I mean, what's he going to call you? Probably a cunt. Why? I left a small tour on his driveway in case he doesn't call. That's probably what I would have done. Smart. As Jimmy and Brad listen to John sing, Jim decides to join in as the young seagull crash lands whilst trying to cover his ears with his wings in mid-flight. What's been said between your heart and mine? The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes. Enough! Fuck me as if this episode isn't shit enough already. Let's get on with some type of plot or something I can't think listening to this shite. Jimmy, stop it! Now think about the plot. The, 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 the plot. The story. Excuse me, Mr. Narrator. What? Uh, can it involve a South African pig farmer? No, that's the episode we're waiting on. Gonna be about a car chase? Shut the fuck up, Brad. You know that's my idea. Yeah, sorry, mate. What about a goat race? We could ride some goats. What goats? There's goats? Those two ready-to-race race goats saddled up and standing over there near the finish line. Or start line. Be the start line, if that was... Near the start line, near the Mexican senorita with the pistola. As the boys grin at the convenience of the race goats and the lady, Daniel Day Lewis still hasn't returned Jimmy's call, and we hope the fame hasn't changed him. I mean, since shipwreck hit the air, we've remained the same grounded people. The what? Oh, the caviar and don't. Sp I mean, the caviar and don't spill the champagne or you'll be sacked like that last clown. Why'd you have a clown serving your drinks? Star, I like these long, amusing footwear. This is great! I almost dreamt of riding a goat! Yeah, it's pretty good. Nice little saddle. Assless chaps. Spurs. A cowboy hat. Whoa, what was that you said? A cowboy hat. No, back a bit before that. It was about the 18th of August. That... Professional. <sighs> It was about the 18th of August. That's about three weeks ago. No, not that far. You said arseless chaps. Why don't you have any pants on? Isn't this how you're supposed to wear them? What? Is this not how you're supposed to wear them? Because the, the fella in the shop, he, he said... Look, mate, I don't know where you're shopping, but unless you're a stripper, you put trousers on underneath. The, the chaps go over the top. Thank Christ for that. It was giving me a rash. And a white goat wasn't smart. It was not a good idea at all. I guess I had to rush off from Daniel's front gate in a bit of a hurry. You'll just pretend it's a race in the street. Christ, just hurry up and just put some pants on. Let's get this race started. As the seagull picks himself up, the Mexican woman yells something in Spanish to signal the start of the race. Then holding the pistola the wrong way round, she shoots Jimmy's goat dead at the start line. Oh, Christ. Oh, great! She just shot my goat! 
If you listen to that back, it sounds like a Chinese man saying, shit, my waistcoat. No, it doesn't. Should I get a puffer fish? Lucky for race fans, another donkey fitted with a racing saddle was close by and the race was back on. The Senorita pointed the pistola into the air the and the goats were off. Yeah! 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 Pick your hooves in. Yeah! Yeah, goat! Go, my son! Yeah! Go, goat! Come on, goat! <laughs> Run, goat! Run, goat! Run, goat! What's the fucking whip? Go, goat! Fuck, Jimmy! Go, go. Whip! Fuck! Go, goat! <laughs> As the goats hit top speed, the young seagull flies, off, fly, fly, flies, off, flies over the top, looking down and runs into the rear of a slow flying pelican, resulting in an odd mid air spectacle, while Jimmy pulls out a stock whip from God knows where to flog his goat. Arr. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! 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 It sounds like a German porn. Oh, Jesus, I think I'm slipping. Ah, Jimmy, you hit me with a fucking whip. Ah. Quicker! Faster! Run, go. Ah. Run, go. Ah, Jimmy, run! Ah. Hey, love, go home! Run, go, run, go, run, go, run, go! Come run, on, go. run, you bastard! Jimmy! Jesus! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, take yeah! It home. Go, yeah. Take it home! Hey, take yeah! Home. Yeah! Yeah! No! Oh, oh. Ow. Jesus! As a finish line fix, Jimmy wildly cracks Brad with a stock whip. Brad ducks his head quickly as the goat he's riding throws his back, resulting in two heads colliding and Brad being knocked out cold. He slips off the racing goat and is now getting dragged at top speed. As Jimmy crosses the finish line, the other goat dragging the knocked out jockey runs into a Brad built sand structure and breaks its leg in a deepish hand dug molt surrounding the Henry VIII themed castle. Jimmy bathed in glory while Bradley's still with a fair bit of sand forced up his day Lewis. I won! I won! I can't believe it! I've won! I've won! Brad! Brad! Oh. oh my god. He wrecked my sand castle! As Jimmy holds onto his coconut shell goat race championship trophy in one hand, he tries his best to repair the sand castle and caved in moat with the other, while the senorita lefts off the four remaining shots left in the pistola of the goat, missing, then having to reload and fire off another three before getting a direct hit and putting the broken down race goat out of its misery. While the pelican with the seagull up its arse flies out to sea, and Brad regains consciousness as a child in America orders a large whopper with flies, fr fries, for a starter at breakfast time. Bloody hell, where am I? Oh. It's alright, little boy. You're safe on the island with me. What the fuck? Where am I? Oh, You're still on the island. It's only you and me this week with a recording of John Wilson ripping off my Ronan Keaton song that I ripped off t'other week. Oh, what's with the Mexican woman and this dead goat attached to me riding boot? Oh, oh that cunt? She's the race starter. Legs like a fucking pair of magnets. Oh, well, that fucks the whole Adam and Eve Bible story then, doesn't it? No, not the whole Mexican race. The goat race. Are you sure? She looks... We race goats. You lost A1. You got knocked out because you're not a very good jockey. And the senorita shot my goat. But then I got another goat. And then she shot your goat. Fair enough. I suppose. Well, what happened to the young seagull? <laughs> You'd have to ask the narrator. Ah, it's unimportant. Keep it moving. Well, I can't wait till life's back to normal on this island. You can play that tape of John Wilson singing now down the episode. Nah, I've got a headache. That's what Wilson's sister said. <laughs> <laughs> As the boys laugh, John sings and the seagull turns up looking like shit. The sun sinks in the west and the first star will come out in its own time. The boys discuss tea. So what's for tea? Uh, I was thinking goat. Just burnt on the fire with a sprinkle of unwanted sand for crunch. Mm, sounds alright. What happened to the senorita? Ah, eh, uh, stupid bitch got deported. <laughs> she upset you shooting that goat, eh? Oh, I thought she had nice eyes. I think she was blind. So as the men burn goat and the seagull washes his face, focus is put back on Petrocelli's computer problems. So what do you know about computers? About as much as a dwarf knows about changing light bulbs. I spilt lemonade on a keyboard once. 
So I suppose that ends another day on the island. What will happen next time? Will we be back? Was the pelican turned on by the seagull? And do cows actually like being milked? Mention about me Who being knows? the goat race champion. What? Mention about me being the goat race champion! Uh, who can- who know? Just make sure you join us next week for another exciting episode of- Mention the goat race! Uh, make sure you join us next time for another exciting, uh- Jimmy won the- No, for fuck's sake. And Jimmy won the goat race. He won the goat race. Are you satisfied? Yes. What? Thank you. That's okay. We'll be back next week with a normal episode of Shipwrecked. 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 Arr.